Those who enter the country illegally and those who employ them disrespect the rule of law uh, and they are showing disregard for those who are following the law. All Americans, not only in the states most heavily affected, but in every place in this country are rightly disturbed by the large numbers of illegal aliens entering our country. The jobs they hold might otherwise be held by citizens or legal immigrants. The public service they use impose burdens on our taxpayers. I think we can enforce our borders. I think we should enforce our borders. If making it easy to be an illegal alien isn't enough, how about offering a reward for being an illegal immigrant? No, no sane country would do that, right? We've got a couple of different issues. We're talking about, do we have a commitment to secure the border? Yes. Uh, what are the options that we have available to us? Let's make sure they work. Because we do, while we need to address the issue of immigration and the, and the challenge we have of, of undocumented people in our country, we certainly don't want any more coming in. In approaching immigration reform, I believe we must enact tough, practical reforms that ensure and promote the legal and orderly entry of immigrants into our country. People who enter the United States without our permission are illegal aliens, and illegal aliens should not be treated the same as people who entered the U.S. legally. To have a situation where 40% of the babies born on Medicaid in California today are born of illegal immigrants creates a very real problem for the state, which is in deficit. Okay, of course you can seven, enforce the borders. Let me finish. I agree. To have 17% of our prison population at a cost of 300 million a year the illegal immigrants who come here and commit felonies that's not what this nation but is all about do we have a commitment to secure the border yes uh, what are the options that we have available to us let's make sure they work we all agree on the need to better secure the border and to punish employers who choose to hire illegal immigrants that's why our administration has moved aggressively to secure our borders more by hiring a record number of new border guards, by deporting twice as many criminal aliens as ever before. And the Commission sees no justification to the continued entry of unskilled foreign workers unless the rationale for their admission otherwise serves a significant national interest. But at the same time, along with that, we have to beef up the border. So we, 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 there's some point at which you say, um, now you're here and, and these are the people that are here and these are the other people that aren't here because otherwise you have people who are legally trying to get in and they're on waiting list to get in and then other people are getting in illegally. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. No sane country would do that, right? I continue to believe that we need stronger enforcement on the border and at the workplace. All illegal aliens present in the United States on the date of enactment of our bill must quickly register their presence with the United States government or face imminent deportation. That means a workable, mandatory system that employers must use to verify the legality of their workers. We will try to do more to speed the deportation of illegal aliens who are arrested for crimes, to better identify illegal aliens in the workplace, as recommended by the commission headed by former Congresswoman Barbara Jordan. I urge the Congress to adopt tough policies needed to verify employment authorization. When we use phrases like undocumented workers, we convey a message to the American people that their government is not serious about combating illegal immigration. If you don't think it's illegal, you're not going to say it. I think it is illegal and wrong. If you break our laws by entering this country without permission and give birth to a child, we reward that child with U.S. citizenship and guarantee a full access to all public and social services this society provides. And that's a lot of services. Is it any wonder that two-thirds of the babies born at taxpayer expense at country county-run hospitals in Los Angeles are born to illegal alien mothers? So, that's why we need to start by giving agencies charged with border security new technology, new facilities, and more people to stop, process, and deport illegal immigrants. We certainly don't want any more coming in. A biometric-based employer verification system with tough enforcement and auditing is necessary to significantly diminish the job magnet that attracts illegal aliens to the United States. By cracking down on illegal hiring, by barring welfare benefits to illegal aliens. 
We also need to crack down on employers that are hiring illegal immigrants. One of the things that's happening, um, and I've talked to people in, in towns in our state where this is happening, is that it almost creates a shadow workforce where employees are illegally employing these people. They are sadly willing to take jobs that are more unsafe uh, for less wages, and then it hurts um, our other workers that are here in this country. So um, bringing this out of the shadows um, and making it clear who's legal and who's not legal, um, beefing up the border security is where we need to head. Right now we've got millions of illegal immigrants who live and work here without knowing their identity or background. But we are also a nation of laws. It is wrong and ultimately self-defeating for a nation of immigrants to permit the kind of abuse of our immigration laws we have seen in recent years, and we must do more to stop. When immigrants are less well-educated and less skilled, they may pose economic hardships for the most vulnerable of Americans, particularly those who are unemployed or underemployed. Uh, we simply cannot allow people to pour into the United States undetected, undocumented, unchecked, and circumventing the line of people who are waiting patiently, diligently, and lawfully uh, to become immigrants in this country. <laughs> Let me repeat, we need strong border security at the borders. We are also a nation of laws. I think we can enforce our borders. I think we should enforce our borders.